What's up guys, Zane from Forward Progress Madden and in this video I want to take a look at the Oregon playbook and break down a concept known as the dart read option. Now the plays are not called dart in this playbook or even in the game but the concept is that when you come out in a read option Oregon has added to their scheme over the past few years they run a really efficient power spread but typically in the read option you have something just real generic let me go back and show you out of a a better form that we can get this read out of traditionally when we run the read option if we can find one you simply just have a read across the formation and you try to get outside nobody pulls it's just you read the end if he stays home you hand it off if not you pull it. So here the, the end is stayed home on the right side. When he breaks down on the ball, we'll go ahead and keep it with our quarterback. And he's just staying home at this point. He continues to. But the point is, is if this end over here on the right breaks down on the play just like so, you keep it and break the run to the outside for a big game. Now, what Oregon really likes to do instead of say having this tackle or this tight end just let that defensive end come in and then they go and block downfield what Oregon likes to do is they like to pull the tight end or the guard or the tackle on that side to the strength of the run meaning they're selling this this read to the running back the best way that you can effectively do this is out of the shotgun wing offset as well as the shotgun wing offset weak formations and you can run the read option and as you can see I'll just go ahead and choose a random play out of the nickel normal so we're facing a variety of defenses this tight end in the backfield has a block route that pulls slightly and what we can do is we can just go ahead and motion him to the side of the run and he will pull to the strength of the run up the middle what this effectively does is gives us inside blocking up the middle and should the, the end stay home, we can actually hand it, the ball off and follow him to the inside, just like so. So as you can see, when the end stays home, we actually will hand the ball off, but when he crashes down, like so, we pull the ball and run it off of that read. Now, as you can see right here, this tight end is running this is what makes this play a dart read option he pulls to the play side and what this does is gives us more blocking to the run side should we hand it off to the running back the only time we pull the ball with the quarterback is just like so when this end plays down on the run fortunately the outside corner or safety whoever was playing down the box bit on the run too but Oregon State had a good play dialed up now see if we can make this read again here he bites down on the run and we go ahead and pull it see if we can get one where he stays home and I'll show you how the the block works effectively just like that right there we give the ball to Marner and follow our tight end to the inside as he goes and finds the the per first person he can to block the hole that we had up the middle was probably sealed by the time we could have hit it but did get positive yards out of it so this is the dart and we tried to hand it off there I guess I didn't hold X very well here it is again the dart right up the middle it's almost like a power play it's almost you know as if you're running a, a power O out of the shotgun but you have this and this is your pulling lineman that blocks for you there the D tackle split his double team block and stopped us in the backfield here it is again just that that pulling player that we motioned over goes and picks up that interior linebacker and seals him to the outside allowing us to cut up inside for positive yardage so that's the dark for the the dart read from the wing offset week you can do the same from the other wing offset and it's really this simple so we have this dart read and you can actually motion him over and use 
him to the strength with the quarterback. So if that guy blocks down, you can keep it up inside with the quarterback and follow your lineman, or rather your pulling tight end who is pulling against the strength. So the last play we had an example of the lineman pulling to the running back side. This time we have an example of the tight end pulling to the quarterback side. And what this effectively does is it, this is what makes the Oregon power spread triple option offense so tough is that they use a lot of motion and misdirection in their their plays. A good place to check out this dart, and as a, it's a place where I you know came across this concept, is fishduck.com, which is a X's and O's site uh, centering around the Oregon Ducks offense. Um, I've always been a huge fan of the power spread, and Oregon runs it very well, and they've, they've been adding these unique blocking schemes to their read option ever since. So here again, the dart block goes and seals off to the, the quarterback side, and we cut up inside the block, almost like a quarterback power O, and pick up about 9, 10 yards there on the game. So really, this is just a simple and effective way to... And there our tight end decides he doesn't want to block anybody. But you can see the read is Teague is going to pull to the quarterback side and give us a... Hopefully he'll get out in front of us and block. But he'll give us an option to, to lead block for the quarterback. And we just follow up inside and pick up our positive yardage. So that is the dart read option. Typically Oregon runs it with a pulling guard or pulling tackle, but since there are no plays in the game that allow you to read option off of a, a pulling play except for the uh, QB wrap, which doesn't work nearly the same, um, we will just go ahead and break it down out of the read option from the wing offset. Let me know if you have any questions, and good luck running this, guys. Thanks.